an award-winning documentary director, producer, writer, and cinematographer. Our next presenter is a recipient of 24 Pacific Southwest Emmy Awards. It is my pleasure to introduce Bill Wisniewski, presenting Best Documentary Short and Best Documentary Feature Awards. Welcome, Bill. So documentaries can make you laugh, they can make you cry, they definitely can make you think, right? Uh, they can really make you think about the world in which you live in, and they can force you to learn something about that world and hopefully about yourself. The best documentaries, like definitely these nominated here tonight, they tell stories that you likely would not know otherwise, and they force you to really go places maybe you haven't been before, either literally or emotionally, or to learn about something that uh, can challenge you. Uh, the best documentaries uh, that we are looking at here tonight, uh, the documentary shorts are Unfiltered Through Their Eyes, Kimana Tusks, Too Good to Be Forgotten, and Mudlarker. And the winner is Unfiltered Through Their Eyes. starts out with this and I will continue it. Thank you, San Diego Movie Awards, Terry, your team. This has been an exceptional week of films and events and uh, socialization, which we all missed. Um, making this film was a mindful and heartful journey for me. Because, like most of us that are here, many of us did films during the pandemic. We were in lockdown. Well, I was in lockdown, but I had just moved, and all my connections were on the East Coast. And you know, I found myself in Boulder, Colorado, and going, what am I going to do? Then, once the seed is planted, that Nobody was talking about the children during the pandemic. It was planted deeply in my heart. The next day, I got up, I Googled the World Health Organization, and I said, how is the pandemic impacting children around the world? And the first thing that came up was nearly 1.6 billion children were impacted by it. Many of them who we're getting fed once a day, we're not going to be anymore because of school closings. So I knew I had to do this film, but I didn't have a cast, I didn't have a crew. So I sat down in my own lonely garret and I spent three months deciding how to make this happen. I will put a framework together, an idea, a concept. I will write out as much detail as I can and then I will pitch it out to the world, to filmmakers, and see what happens. And that's what I did, and in a matter of two weeks, I had 10 countries that were on board because I believe what they did was they were just as concerned and curious about the children, and that became our common thread. So on behalf of all those filmmakers and children, obviously cannot be here. I'm honored to accept this award for them. I'm also honored to have my um, executive producer, and my wife Martha Fazio, in the audience. Uh, so I, I guess in closing what I'd like to say is I um, normally don't make documentaries. It just happened. But what it did was it, it planted a seed in me to show what's possible. And what's possible is we can make films with global filmmakers, with compassion, with ideas, 
with collaboration, <clears throat> with knowing what to say and how to say it. And that's what I did with these filmmakers of these children. Just like the children, one of the things I said was when they were being interviewed, they were all young, five to eight years old, they were asked five questions. I was very specific about telling all the filmmakers their families will probably be there, their parents, they have to be. But I do not want the parents in the eyesight of the children. I don't want the children to know the questions. So when they answer, they're not going to look over and say, I hope I'm saying the right thing. They're going to say what's right here. And I also said, give them a few seconds, give them a minute, because they will say something because they have voices. So in closing, I will say, no matter what the crisis is, whether it's the pandemic, whether it's global warming, whether it's indifferences among us, let's not lose sight that whatever is impacting us most likely is impacting the children. So thank you all.